How's it going everybody? We are back with some Disney Cruise content and we're going to share some uh, Disney Cruise tips and tricks, things that we wish we knew on our first Disney Cruise and some things that we picked up along the way. Mm -hmm. Let's get it. So we're going to attempt to do like a speed dating kind of thing and it's going to be like speed <laughs> tips and tricks. We're just going to be tricks. throwing these tips at you guys. Yeah. Like, so, so get ready. We have on. several of them and we don't want this to be a three hour video. Okay? Right. First up is a free character call. Mm -hmm. This is really cool because you can actually go on the website and actually request a free character call before your Disney cruise. Gets everyone excited. I think we're actually gonna probably do that this weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, the boys are gonna be super stoked because Mickey yeah. or Minnie or all, all of Both them, of them. Will, will call <laughs> and they'll be like, hey guys, we're excited for you to come on the cruise with us. That was great. Yeah, it's pretty, <laughs> it's actually, pretty much, very, it's as, pretty the kids, much. as the kids would say, <laughs> very cringe. It's a cringy, <laughs> If it's a cringy Mickey or Minnie, I don't even know what I just did. Yeah. Hey guys. Is that Minnie or it Mickey? It sounded like Mickey if he lost some teeth. If he has. If he's old. Hey yeah. guys. Yeah. Anyway, it's really awesome and it gets you really excited for your vacation. Yes. Of course, if you watch our channel, we are gonna bring up coffee. So at Cove Cafe, they have a coffee card. Yes. And it's basically, you know, just like a the good punch old card. punch card yeah. that you get. But the sweet deal with this is it does not expire. So if you're like, hey, I didn't use it all up, bring it on your next cruise. So if you cruise a lot, just keep bringing those punch cards and get your specialty drinks and then eventually you'll get a free one. Because you, so, you get one free. Yeah. You mentioned yeah, that. No, I, I don't know if you did. It's, sorry, it's one of those punch cards that's like buy a certain amount and you then get you get one free. free so. so if you don't use yeah. it all up, then bring it next time and yeah. you're good to go. This tip is try, try and try again. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's the dumbest name. We were right very um, proud of that name if you couldn't tell. <laughs> Um, so basically if you guys were like really hoping to get, you know, a massage or, you know, a certain experience or a dining reservation and it's booked, don't give up because people can't try, try, a lot. Try again. <laughs> people drop out right before their cruises. People cancel things. And so move things around. Move things wow. around. Right. So I would always just keep calling, keep trying, even to the point of when you get on the ship, go to a uh, customer service and say, Hey, like, is there any openings? Because there just might be. So I would definitely wouldn't take like, oh, it's booked and then put the hands up because I mean we're we're actually happen. in a process right now where we're trying to we're trying to get something and we're actually checking a couple times a day. Yep. Lacey gets the morning shift, I get yep. the evening shift. And they say that too. They're like, keep trying. They do, they do. You never know. So yeah. Just try, try. Try, try again. again. Next up is magnetic doors. Now some of you know that you can put you no know, mag Everybody knows. magnets. You can put magnets on the door. Not but they, again, like. <laughs> this is your first cruise. You may not know that because we didn't know that our first cruise. Right. And, but you can put magnets on your door. And so, you know, you can go to Etsy, different places yeah. where you can find like really cool, like Disney personalized, personalized ones. magnets yeah. for your cruise. And it's great because, you know, all the doors are white. So you kind of know where your, your door is, yeah. especially when you have kids or if you don't have kids. It's just fun. It's just fun. Mm -hmm. However, also on the inside, inside your stateroom, the doors are a magnet. Yeah. So, or magnetized, the doors mm -hmm. are a magnet. Magnetic. The doors are magnetic. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> and we actually have these really cool magnetic hooks. Mm -hmm. We will link them below. Uh, you can get them on Amazon. And uh, we, we kind of put those on the door. And that way we can put our lanyards. We can put mm -hmm. like hats. We can just put yeah, whatever. Yeah, suits if you yeah. need to hang extra things. Yeah. And we do have a actually a packing tip video that we'll link below as well. Um, I think we talked about that in that video. Yeah, on things to bring. Yep. Uh, but it's really cool. Just know that the doors are magnetic. So you can mm -hmm. stick things on there. And call it a day. Okay, so it's really important that you download your Disney Cruise app or your Navigator app before you get on the ship. Yeah. Uh, because and there's a lot of great things on there. Like you can see your itinerary, you can tip, you can do mm -hmm. really cool stuff. Also, in your party, you can message with each other as well right. on that app. But what I have found out, and this may be something that may go away at some point, I don't know, but if you have iMessage, mm -hmm. if you have phones, you can still iMessage people mm -hmm. off the ship. Mm -hmm. So someone back at home. Yeah. Now for us, we like to go unplug. Like we just, we don't even do that, but it is good to know that you can do that. Right. Uh, and that's not using their Wi-Fi package or anything like that. It's just, they're using the same service that, you know, that you can message on the ship. Same kind of thing, both iMessage. Cause it, 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 I'm not going to go into the details of what, how that is. It just, it does work and it's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. As of right now, that could change, right. but as of right now, it sure does. Mm -hmm. Watch, we get on this cruise it's gonna be next gone. month. It's going to be gone. <laughs> but, Hopefully it still does. 
Speaking of the Navigator app, you can also tip on there now for room service, which is huge for us because usually we would bring a wad of cash because we lot. get room service a lot on Disney Cruise. Boy, do we take advantage of that and oh, we love it. Man, so we, But we definitely want to tip every time. So mm -hmm. it's really nice because it's like now they'll bring it to you and room service is free, by the way, but you won't want to tip them. So you can just put it right on your app and you're good to go. So mm -hmm. get as much room service as you want. If you forget your cash, you are good with tips. <laughs> We also do bring cash though as well. Yeah. Just because we like to tip people who just do an amazing job. Yeah. They're all the cast members are always great, but when they go a little above and beyond, yeah, you do want to have. We like to that. have some cash to, to yeah. do that, but it's just nice to know that you don't have to have a bunch of dollar bills running around, right? Um, and you can just tip on the app. Dollar bills. Cause, yeah, because it used to be where that didn't happen, and then that's and that's probably old news for some of you. But yeah. if you're new, mm -hmm. know that. You can tip on the app yep. for room service. So like Lacey was saying, room service is free. It's included. It's included yeah. in your price, which I think a lot of people just don't know about that. And yeah. that's really cool. I have like something in my nose. I keep like itching. Your beard. Yeah. My beard is just like crawling <laughs> up everywhere. Taking over my face. Anyway, we also have a tips and tricks for like room, room service. service. I don't yeah. know if it's tips and tricks or it's like secret room secret service things. items. Yeah. I don't know, but we'll link that one below as well. We actually will also link our entire playlist of helpful information on the Disney Cruise as you're planning your trip. And our next tip is actually speaking of room service. This is all transitions in and we're gonna share with you a couple of the secret menu items. And one is cookies and milk you can get. Mm -hmm. That's not on the actual, you know, menu. You can also get a Mickey bar mm -hmm. as well, which you know those Mickey bars are like fifteen thousand dollars in the park. They're free. It's close on the Disney Cruise. Mm -hmm. It's very close to that. But <laughs> if you wanna get really crazy, because why not? You're on a Disney cruise, might as well. Hear me out. You get the cookie. The warm cookie. Mm -hmm. and I say this because sometimes they're not warm. Mm -hmm. And then you put the cookie and you put the ice cream bar on the cookie mm -hmm. and put the other cookie on top of that and make a ice Mickey bar sandwich. ice cream sandwich. I'm just, you heard it here first, folks. I'm just saying that it would be awesome. <laughs> That would be Actually, awesome. you haven't heard it here first because people do that. I was going to say. I stole that, but I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you stole that. <laughs> but maybe they heard it here first, but we did steal that one, and it's brilliant. <laughs> Something to note along the lines with tipping is if you order drinks or if you go to the spa, just so you know, there's already like an automatic gratuity added to that. As of right now, while we're, while we're filming, it's 18%. Mm -hmm. Again, you can always go above and beyond because we have like, you know, that's why we talked about bringing extra cash, you know, or you can tip more on there. But, but know that you don't have does. to like for right. the spa. I remember one time we, we went to the spa and we yeah. tipped above, but not thinking that there was already, you Tipping know, on tip, there yeah, for gratuity. Yeah. Yep. So mm -hmm. just so you know. We're hitting all the, the tipping right now. <laughs> hey, we have tips on tipping. Hey. hey. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. But you guys will get, if you go on your cruise, towards the end, I think it's the last night of your cruise, you get these little cards for tipping your stateroom host, tipping your servers at dinner. So you can actually now do that beforehand. So um, with pre-tipping, pre -tipping basically, on the Disney Cruise Line app or the website. So you can do that and just get it all done so you yeah. don't have to worry about it while you're actually on your cruise. So that's something that's new to us yeah, too. Yeah, again, we talk about tipping a lot because I think that's one of the things that is confusing if it's your first time going on a cruise. Right. Uh, note that like you don't have to tip your waiters every single meal. You don't have to tip your room service every single time. Like mm -hmm. you could do that, you do that at the very end or you can pre-tip. Right, uh, before your Yeah, we've had family right. members who actually tipped every meal thinking that that was what you do because it's a crazy awesome meal and you yeah. feel weird just leaving, especially right. if you're in the States when we're so accustomed to tipping. Yep. But note that you do that at the very end or you just get it get it done before you even get on the ship. Yeah. This tip we actually also talked about in our what to pack for your Disney cruise, but we want to bring it up again because it is a great tip, but a uh, pop-up hamper. So we love having this in our room. It's so nice to just put in your closet, put your dirty clothes in, and then they just close up easily in your suitcase. So it's just nice to have something to put your dirty clothes in in your stateroom and just kind of keep it all together, especially because it is, you know, a very family oriented cruise line and you've got kids clothes in your clothes. And so with just a small room, bring a pop-up hamper. Every time we cruise, we're like, we actually forgot it one time. And we're like, no, the pop-up hamper. Did we like we go forgot. to Target and get it? Oh no, was, was, I think it was Adam. What? Oh, so we, yeah. we, we got this tip off of uh, the channel Late, Late Life. Life. Yep. Um, if you don't know, we'll link their channel below. They're awesome. We love them. We're cruising with them in March. Mm -hmm. uh, but he forgot one and, and they he bought one before. went to Target yep. and he's like, we can't And I can can't see do this. that. Why? I can see why. Because when yeah. you've done it once, you're like, oh, that's brilliant. Yeah. So 
you'll never go you'll back. never go back <laughs> okay speaking of clothes once your luggage does arrive because when you first get on the ship your luggage isn't there quite yet mm -hmm. it'll take a while for them to get all the suitcases to everyone's stateroom yeah but once it's there you've had a you've had time to explore the ship kind of get the lay of the yeah. land which is awesome so then when we go back to our stateroom or eat <laughs> we uh we, we get our luggage in and we unpack right then and there we'll just stop what we're doing and we'll just spend some time and we mm -hmm. actually we really like this part of the trip yeah i think Lacey likes it more than i do yeah I do. uh but it is fun just to get everything organized and be like man this is going to be our home for the week or yeah for the, for the weekend or whatever and just give everything a place so you're not like living out of a suitcase for the whole week it mm -hmm. makes it just a lot more enjoyable to know yeah put everything away, away all your travel stuff away mm -hmm. and yeah you're it, it's good so we suggest right when you get your clothes start unpacking yep Again, I'm bringing something up from our what to pack because this is something like we talked about not to pack, which is weird, but that's a towel. I know it's really weird because you're like a cruise, you know, water, pool, I need a towel, but they have towels provided for you for the pool. They also have them for you when you go on excursion. So when you get off the ship, if you're going to an port adventure, if you're even going to Castaway Key, then they will hand out towels as you go. So it's so nice, so convenient, and you don't have to like pack extra things. And I think too, like when you come back to get on the ship, they have an area you can just throw your towels. Yeah, too. and I think that, like, it's kind of like a hotel, right? Where you don't worry about packing your towels. But I think yeah. the reason why we always talk about this is because the excursions, like when we first got, the first time we went on a Disney cruise, we were so blown away that they had mm -hmm. towels when we we're, you know, getting off the getting ship, off the ship kind yeah. of thing. So mm -hmm. that's pretty cool. Yep. The next tip is online check-in. So when you're 30 days before your cruise, you're able to check in and you're putting like your passport information in and all, all that kind of stuff. We actually had a day in a day in a week video mm -hmm. link below. We're just linking everything here yeah, that we link below. And yeah. we actually did that. Mm -hmm. We have some tips on there inside that video, but it's important because you want to make sure you hit at the right time, know your time zone, know when that, when that opens up Yeah. because the faster you check your stuff in, the earlier check-in time you get for the ship to get on right. the ship mm -hmm. so that's really important to remember and keep that in your calendar next tip is leave time in your schedule i think the first time we did a cruise we were so overwhelmed by how much there is to do on the ship mm -hmm. and i think when i look back on all the cruises we've taken i think the times that we've enjoyed the most or are most memorable are the ones where we just chilled just had no plans or actually because we had no plans we thought of something to do because of having no, no plans, you know, and not, not scheduling your day to the max. It's still fun to schedule your day because mm -hmm. there's a lot of cool things to do. But sometimes it's just fun just to, like, see what happens. Right. Leave some time for, like, spontaneous things because mm. that's where you usually will make, I feel like, the best memories. Right. So, yeah. Arrive a day early. And nowadays, I would say maybe even two days early. <laughs> Honestly, with air, yeah. air airlines and everything right now. like stuff. Yeah. It would be so sad to be so excited for your cruise, paying for it, you know, and you miss the ship because it leaves without you because your flight's delayed. So get in early, even if you're like, oh, I don't want to pay for a hotel. It's definitely worth it. <laughs> so I mean, you're spending that much on a cruise, you don't right. want to miss it. You don't want to like see the cruise leave when you're trying to get on yeah. there. Why not start your vacation a little early, right? And so, not, and stress-free. I yes. mean, you know, there's always going to be stress when you're traveling, but yeah. the reality is if you get there earlier, less stress. More time to be prepared. Rushing into the ship. Yeah. We're actually on this trip because we are going in like, next month 19 days mm -hmm. crazy mm -hmm. think about it uh but we're going a few days early actually and just yeah. it just worked out with our airline tickets mm -hmm. but i think from now on for cruising we probably will be doing about a day and a half to two days right so yeah just whatever you want to do whatever floats your boat <laughs> we also want to take a moment to thank our sponsor for this video <laughs> and it's so dumb <laughs> our sponsor is our channel it's us this is so dumb. Anyway, so we just wanted to share that our new merch, our new shirts came out. We have these, we love, like Lacey's saying, we love <laughs> Lacey's blushing because of how dumb that was. So we have um, new shirts, because mm -hmm. uh, Lacey was saying that we love like drink coffee and the, mm -hmm. the line is called drink coffee and. Yeah. So we have the drink coffee and cruise shirt. We have the drink coffee and travel shirt. Mine's got an airplane. Here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stand up. Okay, so like drink coffee and cruise. Mm -hmm. uh, and we have some other ones coming out we're really excited about like, drink coffee and Disney uh, mm -hmm. and some other fun ones too. And there's Lacey's back, drink coffee and travel. Also, they do come in other colors. When I saw the, my favorite like um, blushy, pinky, I was like, I want that one. And obviously Justin was black, but they do have, we do have other colors and they're all really cute colors. It was like hard for me to decide because I liked them all. Yeah. Cause <laughs> Justin's like, which one do you want? <laughs> so anyway, you can go to hourzero.com forward slash merch. Check it out for yourself mm -hmm. and get a drink coffee and shirt. Mm -hmm. Anyway, 
back to Disney Tips and Tricks. Just, just and Lacey, come on back in. All right, let's go. <laughs> Our next tip is room service breakfast. There's actually these little cards that are usually stored inside your desk, mm -hmm. a little drawer on your desk. Yeah. Make sure you open that drawer of the desk. A lot of little goodies hiding in there. Mm -hmm. uh, but there's like a basic kind of like like a continental breakfast kind of a thing, like muffins and pastries, pastries fruit, and all that kind of stuff. Coffee. And so we'll fill that out the night before, put it on our door, and we usually, I, don't, I forget what time we usually do it. I don't, we kind of fill it out depending mm -hmm. on the cruise, but we use it as kind of like our wake up call mm -hmm. um, to know that, okay, cool. We know that we'll get up at least by this time, mm -hmm. um, which is, I think it's kind of smart. Yeah. Use room service for your wake up call. I mean, I mean it's come on. smart because you're just like, yes, like coffee and breakfast. Well, I mean, bed. your whole life Hello. you're waking up with an alarm usually. But at the same but waking time. Waking up with room service is the reason, so vacation. I know. The reason I'm just kind of like a little bit skeptical is sometimes they, sometimes they come in your room and they'll bring it and I'm like, oh, like, you know what I mean? Because you remember that one time he yeah. opened the door and I'm like, good morning. Sometimes I just grab, you can just grab it though. You can, you can just grab it. But there are hard times it. they're like, oh, let me bring it in. And I'm just like, <laughs> what? Oh. <laughs> so, <laughs> who are they? Who is this man in my room? <laughs> but you have to do it. It's glorious to have mm -hmm. breakfast brought to we, you and coffee. Also, if you do have a veranda, um, it's a great time to just drink your coffee on the mm -hmm. veranda as well. But yeah. if you don't have a veranda, it's just nice. I mean, when do you get a wake up? Not yeah. from an alarm, right. but from a Not knock at the door kids. saying room service. Yeah. Whew, nothing like it. Now, if you don't like that idea and you don't really want room service in the morning, but you want coffee still, but you mm -hmm. don't want someone to wake you up, okay, um, you can actually get coffee the night before mm -hmm. in a thermos and it actually still stays pretty hot. I'm not going to say hot, mm -hmm. but it's on the edge of hot and warm. Yeah. Uh, does that make sense? Just, yeah. <laughs> just that temperature, it's like, okay, I can, you know, have a little of this to get me, you Yeah, know, it's, it's not horrible, but it's, it's, you know, it's something. So, yeah. if you do that the night before, then you'll have that... Thermos of coffee. Edge, yeah. Mm -hmm. Hot, warm edge of coffee. <laughs> Gosh. Are we selling this to you guys? <laughs> if you're bringing kids on your cruise, we've seen that it's really helpful for them to de definitely go to the kids club the first day first evening for sure because sometimes they'll do like icebreaker games get to know you and we found this to be true with um those that have traveled with us that have like teenagers too for like the teens club but it also just gets them acclimated already and getting to know people but i think the first night is important because they just feel kind of you know welcomed with everybody and you know maybe the kids they see yeah, there I mean, you know, like your the kids the go to the park and they meet a friend like that yeah. And right. so they bond for the entire time they're at the park. It's the same yeah. kind of thing, but now they have it for the whole week or your yeah. whole weekend that you're on the cruise. Yep. So we found it's really important, yeah, to get mm -hmm. them, get them in as soon as possible for that bonding time. Yeah. Another tip we have is to buy a Christmas ornament mm -hmm. because it's actually somewhat of a cheaper souvenir on the Disney cruise, and it's mm -hmm. really cool because you can find the date. And I don't know we love yeah. just getting you know ornaments, and when we're putting up in the tree on Christmas, just kind of reminisce over the yeah. year and the vacations we took. And they usually always have the ones that have that year, so you can remember you know what cruise you did that year, and you know what ship. So it makes it more special. Mm -hmm. Okay, we wish we knew this the first time we cruised, and we just didn't. Mm -hmm. um, you may be smarter than us, <laughs> but there's a thing called placeholder. And we do this every single time we go on a Disney cruise because you know Disney cruises are not cheap. Mm -hmm. And this is a way to actually get your next cruise for a little bit cheaper. Yeah. And you go to the Disney cruise desk um, and I think you make a reservation actually to do that on your app now. Mm -hmm. uh, but anyway, you, you want to go there and you say, hey, I want a placeholder. And what that is, is you get uh, like a 50% deposit down for your next cruise so it's not as expensive and you get 10% off your next cruise as well mm -hmm. and you don't have to know where you're going to cruise yeah like just kind of just a placeholder you want to go on a cruise and mm -hmm. I think I think it's like a two-year time frame or something like that and mm -hmm. it's fully refundable yeah. so if you decide you don't want to do that it's not going to work out on that two-year time frame I think it's two years mm -hmm. but whatever um, on the website has all the details um, then they they'll actually refund your, yep. your deposit. Mm -hmm. And so we do this every single time and it gets us excited to know that we have another cruise in the works right. and the other cruise is cheaper yeah. as well. And then you can start doing your research and seeing where you want to cruise to and what ship you want to do because you've got time. It's just basically like holding your spot. So then when you find the cruise you want to do, you just say, okay, here it is. And then you already mm -hmm. got, you know, it's your kind, place booked in it. And it's kind of weird because kind of our tradition for the first night the first day to, to place hold our next one. Yeah. I don't know what it is. It just has been that. And one thing to note, maybe this is your first Disney cruise and you're like, I don't want to do a placeholder the first day because you're like, I don't know if I'm going to like it. Uh, but note that if you, you know, are realizing you, you want to do this again, 
you have to book that placeholder on the ship. You can't do it afterwards. You can't call Disney and say, hey, I want that placeholder. It has to be done on the ship. So make sure that that happens in the time frame of your vacation. Mm -hmm. One of our favorite things on Disney Cruise was like a character breakfast. Mm -hmm. uh, they are not doing that right now. Since yeah. COVID, they shut that down and they still haven't brought that back yet. Mm -hmm. I actually called them this week and it's it's still, they don't really have a time frame or if they're even gonna bring that back. Mm -hmm. So if you are looking for that, cause that's what happened, I was like hunting for like, where is it? Right. It doesn't exist right now. And mm -hmm. so what, what this was, was you had to actually get um, like a ticket basically. Yeah. Uh, you had to go to the, you know, it book it ahead of time yeah. or it didn't cost anything it didn't extra cost anything. yeah but this, the, it was usually like disney junior themed so they had like the characters from disney junior come around and and it was cr Mickey. crazy because if you know disney in the parks like character breakfasts or experiences are expensive, expensive. yeah and this was free on the ship yeah and but they they sold out pretty fast yeah uh so i was like frantically looking like where is this at and mm -hmm. then i'm like i better i bet it's not back yet or yeah. i don't know if it'll ever be back yeah but just so you know if you are looking for it mm -hmm. or if you have a cruise down the road maybe you're planning in a year to to call Disney and keep on calling Disney to see if that comes back so it you could. can actually get that ticket. All right, the last tip. I'm sure we can think of more. There's so there many probably are more, but that's where you guys can come in. You can comment down yeah, below your seriously, tips. Seriously, comment below. <laughs> yeah. And that way you can kind of see everyone else's. We can all tips help each other out here. And, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but like, we're all in this together. Right? Yes. Yeah. I love I, I love me some high school musical. Anyways. <laughs> um, and that tip is <laughs> I forgot it. <laughs> preferences it? thank you preferences so if you have a if you have a preference as far as dining goes if you're going to be going to rapunzel's royal table or tiana's it's really fun to sit up in the front so you can see the stage i know that obviously the wish has frozen too so you can call and say hey it's not guaranteed, but you can say, hey, can we please try to get a table close to the stage so we can see the show better, you know, or, you know, request a table. Also, if you're traveling in a smaller party, make sure, you know, you can also request to have your own table. That was something we didn't know on our, our first, first cruise, cruise. We ended up, it, uh, they, they, we were joined together with like two other couples. Which was so fun. We loved it. And we still talked to the some of them these day. Honestly, like, <laughs> This is the thing, like, I mean, it's your vacation, you do what you want. Yeah. I mean, we had a great time. We, we still so talk fun, to them. I think sometimes it's kind of fun to just, like, see what happens, whatever. Yeah. However, if you are extreme introvert and you're <laughs> you like, don't want to do that. Heck no. You want to tell Disney you don't want to sit with anybody. Right. Cause... And the thing is, we didn't know that. So when we got sat at the table, we were like, hi like like we were we not the right that. table but all of them were saying that too they're like yeah, well, are we, we didn't you know. know this but it was but fun it was a lot of fun it was really fun anyway also another thing is is you can actually um re you know request and all this is request right? right but you can request to say hey um could we start at this restaurant mm -hmm. um, first, night. first night be here right yeah. so you can do that as well and the reason why you may want to have your dinner the first night somewhere is because mm -hmm. that's actually where you're going to be for your last breakfast before, before you, get you off leave. The ship. So if you're like, I really want to make sure that I see um, this restaurant, you know, more than once, kind of a thing, then mm -hmm. that's that's a cool thing to right. do as well. So basically, what we're trying to say is, you if you have special requests or you're thinking, oh, that would have been cool to sit over here, or I wish we could have done this, like just think of that beforehand because it they could make it happen for you. It's very much like the parks when you have requests for things. You know, they they do their best in their customer service to give you what you want to make your vacation amazing. So that's what I love about yep. Disney and the cruise line. So just keep that in mind. Anyways, guys. That is our Disney tips and tricks. Like Lacey said, we could probably keep on going. Mm -hmm. and But that's where you guys come in. Let yeah. us know some tips and tricks that we forgot that you want to share with this community. Also, we're going to link our playlist of Disney Cruise information. Uh, we have a good amount of videos in that now. So mm -hmm. we have like Disney kids tips and tricks in there as well and a bunch of other things. Yeah. We'll also link the videos that we shared about too, but they're also in that playlist. So mm -hmm. anyway... Yeah. That's it. Also, check out the merch, Drink mm -hmm. Coffee and Line. Mm -hmm. There you go. It's yep. they're cozy shirts. They are. Yeah, they yeah, really are. Really they're, really they're actually really cozy. We've yeah. we've gone through a lot of different materials and we actually love this this brand. And I'd say also they're true to size. So like I usually Okay, I would say they're true small. to size uh except with their hoodies. So we actually do have some yeah. other merch on there and if you want to get like a hoodie, I would go one size up. Size up. Yeah. But I would also say if you just like a little bit baggier stuff to size up mm -hmm. um anyway even with the t-shirts yeah but this is my true to size and it fits really good same with me i think so yeah if you're wondering but anyways guys thank you so much for hanging out with us as always if you have not subscribed to our youtube channel we would much appreciate it 
and ring that bell as well so you'll know when we have new videos. We have some more Disney Cruise content coming up, but we also have our Disney Cruise vlogs, which is Disney Cruise content. Yeah. But <laughs> whatever. We have that coming up real soon, so don't miss out on that. Yeah. Ring the bell, subscribe. We'd love for you to be part of our family. Mm -hmm. Other than that, we'll see you real soon. Bye. Bye, guys.